Jim, the other big strategic decision Sakir has to make, and, and you are better placed than anybody to talk about this, is what they do in relation to the independence vote in Scotland and the relationship with the SNP. Now, the Scottish Labour leader, Anna Sawa, um, the position that you held in 2015, said today he will not do any deals with the SNP after the next general election. There'll be no pact between the parties, even in the event of a hung parliament. Have a listen. Let's be absolutely clear here. No deals, no pacts, no coalition with the SNP. We are trying to get an outright Labour majority at the next election. If we fall short of that and we seek to form a minority Labour government, the SNP will have a clear choice. They can either vote to have a, a Tory government or they can have a Labour government. And in that situation, I dare Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP to back the Tories and let's see how Scotland responds. Is that the right position, Jim? Has Anna Sawa I, made the right call? I think when I said earlier I didn't love the Keir Starmer position, but I accepted it, this made my heart sink. Because ultimately, like, for those who don't follow this, and of course many people watching from across the world don't follow the intricacies of the Scottish debate, understandably, if you thought Brexit was complicated and unpicking a decades-long relationship with continental neighbours, imagine how difficult unpicking centuries-long relationship on the same island. So Scottish independence is Brexit on steroids. Mm. The thing about the thing that Anas Sawa has announced today uh, makes it very clear. Let's just, let's just for the sake of this conversation assume we get to a point after the election that Keir Starmer doesn't have an absolute majority. Nicola Sturgeon and her MPs she'll be the unluckiest gambler in history, in that she'll have quite a big hand because you would expect that the SNP to have some MPs from Scotland at the next general election, but everyone knows she can't bluff because she can't put her MPs in the Conservative column and she'll just have to put them in the Labour column. So Keir Starmer doesn't have to pick up the phone to her, doesn't have to answer the phone from her, doesn't even have to talk to her. Come the U after the UK general election, it might sound rude, but it's the truth. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon has nowhere else to go than to support a Labour government, no matter the fact that Keir Starmer will not do a deal with her. Uh, let's move on.